Good morning, guys. So it's time to say goodbye to one of my telescopes. So this is the telescope I was talking to you about. And I'm going to give it away so that it will be able to inspire some other young individual who might be interested in astronomy. I'm going to this guy who lives in Quezon City. He used to work for the Seven Suites Hotel as the in-house resident astronomer. So he entertains guests at the hotel, showing them the stars. So I'm going to give this to him so that he may find a way to give it a new life. So the mirror of this telescope is no longer 100% because some of the silver on the surface has fallen off. So I'm not sure how he's going to repair it, but we're going there now. So this is the telescope. So there's the mirror at the end. So among the things that have been replaced is this, which uh, holds the diagonal mirror. So this is the diagonal mirror. So this was damaged a long time ago and uh, it's been replaced by a section of a bencha pencil. So this is now plastic. So it's from the, the body of a bencha pencil. So this is cardboard, this uh, finder scope is still in its original state except we coated this with varnish so to prevent it from getting damaged because of the friction with this uh, uh, holders let's move the telescope over here i'm going to show you the damage uh, at the back of the mirror i've had some problem with rust and so uh, i broke one of these so as you can see it's no longer there so I fixed the mirror in place so that it's permanently aligned with the diagonal mirror. So this telescope has a wooden tripod. So this is uh, angled at, uh, for the northern hemisphere. It has a fiberglass tube. Uh, inside is a matte black finish. And this is a friction focus eyepiece holder. This eyepiece has a three times magnification. Uh, the mirror, by the way, it has a diameter of 3 inches. So this was designed by Edmund Scientific Company of Barrington, New Jersey, way back in the late 70s. So this was bought in the early 80s. So this is uh, a basic model, a classic. So you can say that it's a vintage telescope.
Okay, nandito na tayo sa destination natin. Oh, ito Oy, na pala si Astro Man, oh. Siya yung tatanggap nung periscope. So, tingnan natin, ah. Ito natin, ah. Ayan, ito yung telescope. Bigyan na natin. Ayan, in-explain ko dito kay Astro Man yung mga details. Ayan, dito yung IP sa kanyang ito yung mga lock. So, para doon. Hindi kasi magkasa sa bawat siya kaya tinanggal. Ayan. So, ayan. Di ba lang siya mag-assemble? Siya yung resident astronomer dati sa 7 Streets Hotel. Siya yung nag-e-entertain ng mga guests doon. Pinapagitan yung mga stars. Anong ginagamit mo telescope doon? Siya, 12 inch na Gabsonian. Gabsonian, no? Anyway, ito nga. Galing sa Edmund Scientific yan. Designed by Edmund Scientific. Yan yung standard basic telescope nila noong 1970s. Yan. Kaya ano yan, retro classic yan. Beginner telescope yan. Vintage. Oh, vintage yan. Edmund Scientific yan. Yan yung kasabay nito yung mga astroscan dati. Kung kung kailan pinanganak yung astroscan, yan, kasabay yan ito. Ayan. So, hopefully makahanap na ng bagong buhay ito. May maka-inspire sa kung sino mang naging interesado sa astronomy. Yung mga younger generation dyan. <laughs> Ayan. So, bahala lang si Astroman. Astroman. Bistroman. Bistroman. <laughs> Ayun. Six and a half hours later. Again, Croc.